review. Take two. My name is Neely Fisher and I run a lifestyle brand called The Flexible Chef. I wrote a best-selling cookbook called Food You Want for the Life You Crave. I've been married for 22 years. I have four kids and my family is one of the most important things in my life. I've been a yoga teacher for about 16 years. Over time I learned that life is a laboratory and it's our responsibility to figure out what works and what doesn't work. Life is always throwing us curveballs, and flexibility is like my secret sauce for sanity. In this show I'm going into people's houses and we're trying to figure out what is their pain point, what is that thing that they're stuck on, and in one day bring them back to their center so that Everything in their life can become more easeful and they can live more healthfully and flexibly. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm Nish. I'm Ashni, and we're Shukin, Shukin family. family. <laughs> we are family of actors. I started in Bollywood, and now we all are doing together in Hollywood. We are looking forward to meet Neely. We are at a stage where we're doing so good. And we want to keep doing good, but we want to yeah. protect it also. I think she can help us. She is pro at those things. Give me one second, guys. Somebody on the door. Hi, Hi. Neely. My nice name to is Nish. Thank Please you for having me. Hi. Hi. That's my beautiful wife, Ash. Nice to meet you. Nice this is Om. Hi. High five. I'm super excited to meet the Shokin family. They seemed like they had a very symbiotic relationship. The kids were super well behaved, but I was up for the challenge of trying to uncover some of the deeper layers that might be hiding underneath their perhaps too perfect facade. So what's up? How, how can I help you? What's going on? We have built this nice lifestyle for now, but sometimes we check ourselves. We feel like, oh, what if it's not there anymore, you know? What if this all falls apart? Like, you know, that one thing gives me nightmares sometimes. Like, I'm so happy to find her. And we, we match on a lot of levels. Our kids, they're the most talented kids, very, very good, and I'm really glad. But what if something goes wrong? Maybe you can guide us in something, you know, that can, maybe we can take this on another level. I understand the, the feeling of, of, of wanting everything to, to be a certain way and, and to have sort of outcome control. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if perfectionism is creating the stress in your lives. I feel he is very perfect in many ways because he has experiences which I don't have and I try to come to that level, but there are those times where I just cannot. How does this make you feel? It makes me feel that I, I need to grow up. <laughs> you know, like I need to be out more, experience more things because he's been out from day one. Ashni says that she wants to be just like her perfect husband. First of all, there's no such thing as a perfect anything. Is it the perfectionism that's kind of like, you know, so, getting us in trouble sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, th I think I feel they need a better professional line where they need to focus instead of just being kid. Because there's so many kids, they don't reach anywhere if they don't start early. That's what my mind says to me the way I've seen the world. And do you guys feel like stressed out at all? Like um, you feel pressured at all about anything? Sometimes when they say that we have to go to LA, I'm, I'm like, no, why do we have to go? Because it's so far. <laughs> it's like when they like have a little bit of a fight, I get like stressed out like. <laughs> okay. So Thank you for have, the sharing, by the way. We all have disagreements, right? The Shokin family tells me that their issue is that they just want to keep leveling up, and all I hear from them is all you want to do is continue to stress yourselves out. I help people live a healthier, flexible lifestyle. Yes. And I'm always trying to help guide people to their midline, that place where everything fits together so that yeah. you can live your optimal life. And so I guess I'm wondering what your pain point is. We try to eat healthy and everything, but when we get stressed out, that's the first thing we eat. Let, let's eat the sweets. Let's mm -hmm. go for the donuts, you know, let's attack on that. And then we come back to... Yeah. 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 <laughs> Food is the weakest point in our family. Yes. Food. Yeah. Yes. Because of that, I'm stressed out all the time. Tell me about your daily routine. We are all over the place <laughs> for time being because we four are actors and stuff, so we are just in a mess when it comes to uh, time management. Yeah. Like there's an audition lined up, we yeah. have to go to LA, so takes it takes two time. hours to be there, so. We would just pack 
peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> we go the old school way because yeah. we don't have the time to mm -hmm. really go and like, you know, search. The Shokins have enormous pressure in their lives. They're on camera and they're worried about their self-image. They're sort of comparing them perhaps to other people, which is a recipe for disaster and unhappiness. They're trying to meet almost an unrealistic standard. I heard the, the sort of challenge or desire for you guys all to fit into the, the program, mm -hmm. this sort of like idealized. Mm -hmm. Perfect life, what they call it, and yeah. My inspiration is always for people to get in line with what their big visions are, but live a life that is yours. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what the idealized version is or what other people are doing or what you think you should be doing, because at the end, it's just about finding fulfillment and joy in each other and, and living according to your Somebody life's plan, yeah. you know? I'm getting a few ideas of things that I'd love to introduce you guys to. Okay. Right, I'm excited. Let's do it. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> One of the Shokin's pain points was that they wanted really quick and easy grab food they can just get. So I thought, well, let's just equip them with dressings and dips and all sorts of veggies so a salad is really just a toss away. Do you guys like salad? Yes. Yeah. What? I do like salad. What? <laughs> That's amazing! I've never met a four-year-old that, that <laughs> confesses that. <laughs> so, you know, when you buy jarred dressings, mm -hmm. A, they're not as nutritious. They're also far less delicious. Homemade dressings are just amazing, right? Mm -hmm. They elevate the bowl to something that you can crave. So we've got cut up veggies and stuff that you can just toss in a bowl with your salad. I also got you some, some nuts. Do you guys like nuts? Yes. In case you want a quick snack, you don't have to ask mom. You could just help yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Success? Yes. Success. You have to call her and then and then you have to talk that the house sleep over. No. <laughs> Everything is prepared for them so they can have it the next day. The stuff's gonna last like five days in the fridge and that's one of my favorite flexible hacks for healthy living is to have the healthy stuff prepped and ready in an organized way so it looks appealing and easy to grab. You guys figure out what song you wanna dance to, okay? Okay. The kids are just so delightful, but I could see that they really just needed an outlet for being kids. And as soon as he had permission to dance in the kitchen and show off his moves, all of a sudden I feel like we created an opportunity to let loose and enjoy everything that they have right in front of them. After having a even pretty brief conversation, it's pretty obvious Ashneet and Nish need to get out of their heads and into their hearts. Okay. You guys ready? Yes. You look more appropriate for this exercise than I am, <laughs> but I didn't plan on this, so we're flexible. Okay. I feel a little humbled speaking to them about yoga. They know a lot more about the deep origins of yoga than I do because I was trained and studied it, and they lived it and breathed it in their lives and in their hearts. There are different elements of the yoga. Some of it is more heart-centered and mental and religious, and the other part is physical. So I feel like there might be an opportunity for me to help them get out of their analytical minds and into their bodies through some really specific physical yoga practice that will really help them balance the mental state. Have you guys ever gone upside down? <laughs> this is something that I like to do if I'm having a stressful day, if I just need a moment when my kids are yelling all over the place and you don't have that problem because they're yeah. perfectly well behaved, but when there's lots of action, I roll out my yoga mat, I go upside down. Mm -hmm. Everything's better in three minutes. Wow. So I think we're going to have you do the headstand okay. and we're going to have you do a handstand okay. because handstands are very invigorating. They're going to give you confidence, going to strengthen your arms. You're going to come out of the pose feeling more powerful, more confident to tackle the rest of your day. Headstands are really great and they're a little bit more meditative and quiet. So when you come out of a headstand, you feel like this very big body exhale mm -hmm. where you like every, like your worries in your head, they start to soften a little bit because you're, you're resting your head on the floor and you're just kind of like, you have a good head for headstands by the <laughs> way. <laughs> so that's Hopefully perfect. Hopefully it works today. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, so you're gonna place your hands 
relatively close to the wall, claw your fingers. And then lift your hips up as much as you can, even if it's this much, okay? You're gonna walk yourself in as much as you can, even if your knees are bent, you're gonna walk yourself in, okay? You're gonna lift your leg as high as you can, and you're gonna go all the way to the wall and touch, okay? Yes. <laughs> That's wow. so cool. Ashni seems to need a little bit more empowerment. I'm hoping that we can encourage her to want to be more like herself. Walk your feet in as much as you can. And now with no pressure, straighten your legs as much as you can. Good, I'm gonna grab your hips, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, just relax, keep your arms and your hands straight. You're gonna lift this leg in the air, and three, go. There you go. And come down slowly. Yay. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. Good job. I did it. <laughs> so you continue with that. Keep trying because every single day baby steps will get you to the destination that you, for your life, not yours or mine, yes. for your life, you want to go. Right? And then I think the second piece is, this is you're going upside down like a kid. Yeah. It's, it's about the fun. Did you see your smile? Like that's the first yeah. time that I saw you smile like I that today. I've been smiling like us for a long time now. Oh my god! And yeah. I'm seeing you smile like oh that too. Oh my god! I was, I was happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for trying this with me. Are you ready? Yes. It's I'm your excited. Turn now. <laughs> You're gonna clasp your hands and place your wrists down super tight. You're gonna place the crown of your head as you walk your feet in. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna take the other foot and then you're gonna lift your legs up. Okay? Cool. His brain just needs to settle. It's almost like he's just creating problems that don't exist. So I needed him to stop thinking. And the quickest way I know how to get someone to stop thinking is to turn them upside down. Just bend one knee and I'm gonna hold your hips if that's okay. And then bring the other knee to match it. There you go, knees together. And lift your legs up straight to the wall. There you go, you got this. Using your strength of your arms, lift your head off, there you go. Lift your head off the floor and stretch your heels towards the sky, so you're lengthening your body, exactly. Yeah, super strong legs, good. Good job. And breathe. What Nish needed the most was to quiet his mind. He can't think about anything in that moment except for breathing in his body. That's his only job. Breathe, use your physical muscles, and hold yourself upside down. That was something. It's been long I felt like this. <laughs> really? And I felt like I was free. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> like this is what life is about. Yeah. These moments when you can just like, cause I'm, I'm emotional with you because I remember yeah. when that happened to me, when you have these layers that just get shed yeah. and you have this tool to connect to the thing that matters. Yeah. How do you feel? I, to be honest, I felt like there was no worries over there. Mm -hmm. I was only responsible for one thing to be there. I saw the transformation. like in his entire being. I could see this aha moment that he was having, and I got a little emotional because I love the beauty of my job in that I get to watch. Like, what a privilege it is to get to watch people get such a powerful transformation, and it's just really beautiful to watch. Can I go back again? <laughs> <laughs> She got emotional by just looking at me. She yeah. was like, oh my, I could feel the connection was so strong. And I'm gonna remember that moment for sure. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah. I'm sorry I have to go. Not every day you have somebody come in the house like this and give you advice and tips and be so caring and so generous towards you. And she had those energies. And that's what I'm gonna really miss about her, you know, that her being so humble, so grounded, I felt that connection and I didn't want her to leave. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Take care. See you guys soon. I'll see you for a sleepover. Yes. Bye. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's finish that our dinner. I feel really proud of our work together today. I have complete faith 
that the Shokin family will explode in success. Let's try this, come on guys. Let's do this! Okay. I'm going to show you guys how good I am in this. <laughs> As a family, we feel more closer. Yeah. We always knew each other, but not like this. One, two, three. <laughs> My kids have been complaining to me <laughs> that I don't play with them anymore. But today after <laughs> Nelly left, I, I wanted to do all those things which they love. Yeah. Because I had that feeling I can do it now. Well, I brought it. out the mats. <laughs> <laughs> so that is so I also true. wanted to do it. <laughs> now that family time was great. <laughs> there you go girl, you got this. Overall that moment tells me this is how we should spend our time. Mm -hmm instead of worrying too much about stuff yeah. and being in the moment. Be a child again. Be the child again, there you yeah. go, be a child again. <laughs>